you know, here in our area, we're kind of used to what appears to be an alien invasion. It doesn't turn out to be that, especially people on the coast who have seen these jelly blob things invade the beach every so often. Well, up until now, it's been kind of a mystery as to where these jelly blob things came from to take over the coast. Well, Keely Chalmers spoke with a biologist who apparently just found out the reason behind it. For visitors to the Oregon coast, it's often a mystery. It felt very gooey. What is it? A purple goo on the beach that seems to stretch on forever. And I stepped on it and it, I thought it was kind of slick. We took this video about five years ago in Seaside. That goo was actually millions of tiny jellyfish looking sea creatures called Valella Valella, also known as by the wind sailors. Kind of look like little tops, little spinning tops. Um, littering the beaches. University of Washington marine biology Those professor Julia Parrish has been studying the creatures for years. She says ocean and wind conditions have to come together just right to blow these creatures onto shore. But she wondered why in recent years we've seen so many of them from Washington all the way down into California. It's about a thousand kilometers. That's a lot of real estate and that is a gazillion jellyfish. Parrish discovered the big strandings happened the same years the marine heat wave occurred, also known as the warm blob. It was an area of unusually warm water that also stretched from Washington down to California. For the ocean, it was downright hot. It's the same blob scientists now believe caused the mass die-off of seabirds due to starvation. The fish the birds needed to eat were not there. Interestingly enough, Bolella's favorite food are fish eggs and baby fish. So if they're more Valella, they're scarfing down the early stages of fish that are important to the ecosystem. Parrish says there are still a lot of unknowns when it comes to impacts of warmer oceans, but it appears some creatures, like Valella Valella, are emerging the winners. Everywhere in the northern hemisphere, this jellyfish occurs. And when it's warmer, we see more of them. So we expect if the ocean warms, we're gonna see more of these guys everywhere. Which means other sea creatures will come out the losers. And that's something that is not a mystery. And Valoa is the signal. It's the sentinel telling us, hey, there's been a shift. So maybe we should spend a little more time out there figuring out what's going on. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.